Hello viewers, this is Wag Darren now taking you through today's tutorial for all level physics. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the solutions for UNEB all level physics paper 2 for the year 2019, and particularly, we are going to talk about question 6. So, where necessary, these constants can be used. Now these are the very questions I left in the previous video and I believe by now you have already tried them out and ready to check your progress. So let's get started. So shall start with question 6 part A. Part A says Roman 1. What is a magnet? So let's start with that Roman 1. So shall say that a magnet is a piece of magnetic material that can attract other magnetic materials. So that was Roman one. Now Roman two says, why are keepers used? Why are keepers made of soft iron? So in this case, we shall say that soft iron is easy to magnetize and to lose its magnetism when out of the magnetic field. So that is the reason why keepers are made of soft iron. Then Roman 3 says, state two ways by which a magnet may lose its magnetism. So one of the ways is by heat hammering, dropping, or hitting the magnet while lying in the east-west direction. Not that word, east-west direction. The next is by hitting the magnet to redness. So you hit it until it is red hot. So next is by placing the magnet in a solenoid connected to an alternating current. And next is by withdrawing the magnet in the east-west direction while current is flowing. And lastly, poor storage of the magnet can also make it lose its magnetism. So basically, that's what they wanted in Roman part A. Now let's see how marks can be awarded. So definition of a magnet, that is one mark. Then reason why keepers are used, that is also... that why keepers we use soft iron that is one mark also and also for this any two reasons it is okay so you choose any two and write those ones so now shall go to part b part b says with the aid of a diagram describe how a loudspeaker works so know this word with the aid of a diagram so a diagram there's no way you can avoid it so that is the diagram you have to draw it very well and you label it very well so voice call is there soft and core casing lead terminals tabular permanent magnet soft and pole pieces paper cone so know that these are both poles for these are both norm North poles you should know that. So now let's start the explanation describing the experiment. So first we shall say pulses of current corresponding to the sound from the source are amplified by the amplifier. Now that we shall say that varying current from an amplifier flows continuously in the voice coil through the lead terminal. So here the pulse, these pulses of current corresponding to the sound which have been amplified are connected to this. So the amplifier is connected to this lead terminal so that this varying current flows. So next we have said that the voice coil then experiences a varying force due to the varying current. So when current varies, it means that the force also 
worries. So next we have that the varying force causes the voice coil to vibrate along its axis with the same frequency as the audio frequency. Of that we shall say that this vibration causes the former and paper cone to vibrate as well, setting the surrounding air into vibration and sound is produced. So basically that's what they wanted in the action of a loudspeaker. Now let's see how Max can be awarded. So for the diagram we have to look for any four and that gives us the two marks. So that means that the body will contain four marks because the total marks were supposed to be six. So two marks for the diagram and the rest will be for the body. So let's see the body. So one mark is for the varying current. So the whole of that paragraph you get yourself one mark. Then another mark is for this para this paragraph. Another mark is for that paragraph. Another mark is for that paragraph. So basically, that's how the four marks could be got in this part. Now shall go to part C. Part C says, "What is meant by electromotive force in brackets EMF of?" A cell and they give it one mark. So, electromotive force of a cell is the work done when a positive charge of one coulomb moves through the external circuit and the cell. So, that is the definition for electromotive force of. A cell, but you can also define it in the following way: that EMF is the PD across the terminals of a cell on open circuit. Not that word on open circuit. So you can also say that this is the ratio of power generated to current delivered by the cell. Okay, so now we shall go to part D. Part D says. A dry cell with EMF E is connected in a circuit as shown in figure 4. So this is figure 4. This is the dry cell with EMF E. When switch K is open, the voltmeter reading is 1.4 volts. So when this switch is open, the voltmeter reading is 1.4 volts. When switch K is closed, the ammeter reading is 1.0 ampere and the voltmeter reading is 0 0.9 then roman 1 write an expression relating e ammeter reading i and voltmeter reading v and the internal resistance r of the cell so first of all we know that emf of the cell will be equal to pd across the external circuit plus the pd of the due to the internal resistance which is E is equal to V plus I R. So you can either write it like this or you choose to make I the subject. So when I make I the subject it means this one goes this side to come up with E minus V over R. So N of the two is okay. So now we shall go to Roman 2. Roman 2 says calculate the internal resistance R of the cell and they give it to Max. So first of all, you have to remember that they told us that switch K, when switch K is open, the voltmeter reading is 1.4. Now, when switch K is open, it means that no current can flow through this resistor because this is an open circuit. Therefore, the current from this cell will just flow like this, and that means that this is now P, the voltmeter reading is the PD across the circuit across an open circuit. So PD across an open circuit is equal to the EM. If therefore shall come and say mm -hmm. 
that with switch k open voltmeter reading is equal to the emf of the cell what does that mean it means that emf of the cell is equal to 1.4 then they also told us that when switch k is closed the ammeter reading is 1 ampere and the voltmeter reading is 0 0.9 so when this switch is closed when you close this it means that you can complete the circuit therefore the current will flow from will flow in this way like that and therefore the pd the voltmeter reading here will be equal to the pd across this external resistor so shall come and say that with switch k closed voltmeter reading is equal to pd across the external resistor what does that mean it means that capital v is equal to 0 0.9 volts and the current which is i is equal to one ampere so that current is the total current which flows through the circuit now that we know e we know v and we know i we can come in this equation relating e v i and r to come up with the internal resistance which they want because we know e we know v we know i therefore r is the only unknown so we shall come and substitute and make r uh, the subject so when you make r the subject we shall come up with our r being small r being equal to 0 0.5 ohms and basically that's what they wanted in roman 2 so now we shall go to roman 3 roman 3 says find the value of the resistance capital r so we already know that V is equal to capital I, capital R. Therefore, we shall just come and say, yeah, we shall just substitute where there is V, we shall put there 0 0.9, and where there is I, we shall put there 1, and remain with only one unknown, which is capital R. So when we do that, we shall come, come, come up with that. And when you make R the subject, you come up with capital R being equal to 0 0.9 ohms. So basically, that's what they wanted. And now let's see how max can be awarded. So the definition that is one mark. So any one definition, it is okay. You get yourself one mark. Then Roman two, writing the formula correctly, that is also one mark. So any one you can choose to make either subject or you make I the subject or you make V the subject or cap or small R the subject. Any is okay. So for Roman two, right? First of all, quoting the formula for E. For connecting E, V, I, and R is one half a mark. Substituting is half a mark, and for calculating the R, the value of R, magnitude half a mark, and yes, a unit half a mark. So basically, that's how the two marks could come about. Then for this one, substituting the formula for V equal to I R is one mark, and also using calculator correctly with the correct SI unit, that is also another one max so basically that's how the two marks can come about so i believe you have marked yourself and checked your progress so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave you with one more essay question for you to try out That brings us to the end of this lesson so thank you for watching and if you have not yet subscribed please click the subscribe button so that you receive updates when the next video is released otherwise be reminded that the solutions to the assignment i've left will be available in the next video otherwise if you know of any student who is not, not yet on this platform please share the link of this video with them so that they can also subscribe and benefit us a family